Hello. Yeah, this is Raz. What do you need? Yeah, I'm aware of the power's out. I've been running on Jenny for like four days. Well, that sounds like a problem for the power company. I don't even know why you're calling me. You're telling me the entire county has no running trucks? Yeah, yeah. Let me see what I can do. Well, seems like the old boys need help fixing the power lines. So we're going to head over to the garage and pick up a truck. Let's, uh, try not to get stuck in the mud here. Pretty nasty down here on the farm since the flood. Don't they? I, I mean, they need to know I got work to do, but I can't get it done if I'm all the time fixing their messes. You know what you pay taxes for. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome back to SnowRunner. It is your friendly, friendly host, Raznak, here. Today we're going to be fixing some power lines. Thought I'd do the intro a little different, a little role play. We're gonna role play a little bit. I own the farm, and uh, here in Michigan, of course, there's been a horrible flood, and everybody needs my help because apparently I'm the only one that's got the gear to do it. So we'll take the Chevy here to the garage grab what we need. Now I know we need concrete blocks. We need some metal. Some metal. Now metal's in town. And concrete blocks. I think there's an old trailer around here that's got quite a few of them on there. So we'll be using those. But first things first, we'll run into town. Grab some concrete blocks. Let's just park this bad boy in the garage here. Let's grab our good old GMC. Get us some metal planks. I think it'll fit in the flatbed. <laughs> I hope it will. Cause that's what we're using. <laughs> yeah, I hope it works. gotten used to the game, um, kind of getting the controls down pretty good. I just haven't been able to play it as much as I want to. There's been a lot of stuff going on, so I actually don't have to go into work till late, so I'm recording this on a Friday evening right before I have to go to work. So. This truck shouldn't have any problem getting the metal. Zoom out so we get a better view. It's not very good in the mud at all. This GMC is absolutely horrible in anything other than hard pack and uh, asphalt. I mean, it, it cannot go in the mud at all. But works pretty good for going back and forth to town on this main road. Remember, right, there's maybe not there. it's down in here there's a there it is there's the concrete blocks we'll come over here with the trans star not the trans star whatever that big semi the optimus prime this is flat nasty here we'll grab optimus prime here in a little bit get some stuff delivered like i said you hit any kind of mud in this thing and it just does not like it. Eventually it may get better when I get some better tires, but I'm still pretty low level. I haven't unlocked much anything. Oh, watch out for the tree there, Raz. 
But yeah, I gotta get these power lines fixed. Boys called me. Work done, so pays all right. Not doing any farming because, well, farm flooded. Waiting on the insurance guys to come. It's not really doing a whole whole lot there. Hope you all are doing well. Life is treating you well. Doing great. So let me know what you think about the game so far. I know a lot of people have put way, way, way more hours than in it than I ever could. I just have not had the time to put the hours into it. It is a fun, fun game. And I've made some upgrades. I upgraded the this truck a little bit put uh, the higher suspension in it just I like I like this truck but eventually we'll have to go with something else with a flatbed that has uh, probably all wheel suspension or all wheel drive locking differential all this stuff this is just a pretty much a road truck go up here into town Grab our stuff. I think it's the next one. Yeah. I get lost easy still. I've given up using my wheel. I'm not using it at all. I know, shame on me, right? But hey. Well, got to use what works. Metal planks. There we go. Let's see, are they in the truck? Yeah, buddy. We are good to go. Let's get these over to the. Deliver these so the boys and the electric company can get these new power lines built so we can clear that road. So I'm sure the old town will have another job for me once I get this one done. Haven't seen many people out and about lately. Flood, it's just... Just nobody in town. Most of these places are empty. People have left. There's real no, no economy to speak of. Things just kind of getting run down. The old car plant used to be in town, and it's all shut down now, so... Pretty much the only business is fixing the roads. <laughs> fixing what Mother Nature keeps trying to take out with the few people that do live here. It's about the only work there is. Oop, I don't know what happened there. W key quit working. Now I did do a lot of exploring. So like if we pull up the map, I did uh I did I went ahead and found all of the the towers here on the first Michigan map. I went ahead and did that. I did a couple missions just to kinda get familiar with how the mission system works and to make sure I was doing that correctly. And now we're going to play the game. Fun. Try to do some different stuff than just recording like that first little bit. Just some little fun stuff at the beginning. I'd like to work, at, work in more role play if I can figure out how to do it. Just haven't, haven't figured it out quite yet. That's what we're doing right now. We own the farm down here. We're helping the town get everything back up and running as best we can. But it was nice taking time. I, I went ahead and explored quite a bit. Spent a few hours 
exploring and driving around, finding everything, kind of remembering where each road goes. That's what I've been spending a lot of time doing. Just trying to figure out where everything goes. Right. Cargo management. Unload. So we need two concrete blocks. No way to turn around here, so we're just going to have to back down. And this land's flooded again. Them, them dang beavers. I tell you what, they get them dams built up, cause nothing but problems. Of course, you can't do nothing about it because the old DNR won't let you, you know, just shoot them. <laughs> All right, let's go get our other truck. Grab our uh, flatbed, because I think, I mean, I have two options. I can grab, uh, there's a trailer here with some concrete blocks. Or I can get some from the warehouse. Where is uh power line? That's, that's what I'm tracking. Uh, or I can get up here to the warehouse and get them. The only problem is, is this truck has a tough time. This is a lot of mud right here. Has a tough time getting through there. And I don't have, I mean, I'd have to pull a trailer anyway. So I might as well just come down here and grab this one. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to do. Use what we have available. I don't know who left those concrete blocks there, but. We're going to use them to fix that power line. So this would be a great truck if I had some mud tires. If it was all-wheel drive. Oh, come on, girl. Oh, nasty old girl. Here you are, getting stuck again. good one but I'll tell you what let's get back down here it said it's a uh, just won't dry out just won't dry out it rains and then if it's not raining it'll be snowing soon come on you got this come on oh. can't even get down the main road here without getting stuck in the mud out of there. So how are we going to do this, folks? Because I don't want to leave the truck out here. Really don't want to walk back to the garage, so... sloppy in there so what are we gonna do I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a run and start stay on this left side pretty good that's my plan <laughs> we could cut through the could cut through the woods there but 
just gonna get it, make ourselves more mess. Go. Got it, fight nasty. Got it, old girl. Somebody needs to come down here with some gravel or something to fill that spot in. It's getting nasty. There we go. Just had to think about it. The old truck is out there in the field. I need to get I need to get that pulled out one of these days. I got so much stuff to do. The town won't leave me alone. They won't let me be. All they got me doing is running errands for them, trying to get this infrastructure back up. I got solar here at the farm. I ain't worried about the power. I ain't got any cattle really to speak of. They all got washed away. So I'm waiting on the insurance man, but he'll probably never he'll never make it. <laughs> I'll have to send in pictures. But park here in the, the old equipment shed, the old garage. Had my eyes on a tractor. Old boy around here, he's got an old case. He's been wanting to get rid of. I might grab it. Don't know what I'll do with it, but... You know, I got left all that money. Might as well spend it. <laughs> might as well spend it. Alright. Let's grab something we can pull out big flatbed with. It's going to be heavy, so we'll get the old big boy here. Grab the old, where's that? The old Navstar. Still need to take them screens off the windshields. I can't see anything. The old boys that had this before me, they were into logging. I don't do any of that. She's got a pretty stiff... She's got plenty of horsepower. Got the all-wheel drive. Again, I might have to put some... I need to put some better tires on her. Road tires eventually aren't going to do a whole lot. Especially get up in them hills and that mud. No good at all. I have to lift her a little bit too. She's riding rides kind of close to the ground. Every time I drive by the farm, man, I just I get sad. Look at that. I had a good corn crop there, too. But nope. A flood had to come through here. Not like the roads were in that great a shape beforehand, but they're way better off than they are now. I don't even know what I pay taxes for. Them them boys I don't them boys at the planning commission, I don't think they know what they're doing half the time. Up here. All that hay is just going to rot. Ugh. Depressing. Tell you what, it truly is. <laughs> Alright, let's get this thing delivered. So we can call this mission complete. I only need two of these concrete blocks, but we have, we have four of them, so I might as well use it. And I'll take this back, park it at the garage, in case we need it for something else. Then we've got this nice flatbed there, too. Anytime I find a trailer, I've been bringing it back. It's kind of muddy.
journey through here, so we need to stay to the right. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to come in and clear these trees out so the sun can dry this up. And wouldn't that be cool if this game, like, you could do stuff like that? You know, make the roads... I, that's what I wish. I wish as you progress with the story, like, the roads would actually get better. Like, you could get a truck of gravel and, like, dump it in there. And then the mud would go away or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. At least I think it would. It would be for me. I don't know about anybody else, but I sure would have fun doing it. Do, do. Yeah, she's rolling coal. The game is a lot of fun. Once you get past all the, the bugs with the controls, like I said, I've just went straight to keyboard, and so far it, it's really not that bad. I don't have the, the best control that I would like with my um, my uh, steering wheel, but it's not bad. Or with my keyboard, you know, versus the steering wheel, but it's not bad. Cargo management. Unload. I've been promoted. We are now rank four. About time. If only we had more folks like you willing to take the initiative. We'll take it from here. I may call on your services again soon. See you around. I'm sure you're going to call way soon. All right. That is cleared now. So which way? Where does this, uh, this road go? It goes into the farm. I guess we can take this back to the... Take this back. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> why not uh, why am I tracking the pipe dream task I hate when it automatically it picks tasks for something like this deliver to factory heavy fuel tanker semi trailer deliver to factory bricks and metal planks I don't have bricks I have concrete blocks uh, let's see pipe dream don't stop tracking that. I don't, I don't want that stuff up. There we go. I guess we'll, take, we'll go this way. Haven't been up this road yet. Well, because the power lines were down. Now the road is clear. It's a nice little stretch of highway here. Actually in fairly decent shape. See, I have my lights on, but do these side lights come on? In the comments, let me know. Like, how do I turn these side lights on? That's what I want to know how. That's a winch. Activate ramp. Unpack cargo. Remove cargo. No, I don't... See, I don't know how to uh, do that. Go trailer view. It's a nice looking trailer. Oh. oh, mud puddle. We're off the paved roads now. I don't know why my game's freezing like that. Like I said, I turned the settings down to high. They're not on um, um, ultra. Because I was having some frame rate issues. On. You got this. So I think if I take a right, I can go down to the farm, yeah. But then I think if I. I think the rock. Farm's that way, town's that way. Then. This little road here takes me to the rock, yeah. I said I haven't been up this way yet because the. I think maybe I have been up here one time. The power lines are on. Oh, yeah, this is a... Okay, okay. And I knocked down my only sign. Telling me which way to go. 
I love that orchard. That's a neat little farm. Oh. That's what I get. Trying to go off road nasty. The road truck. But I tell you what, for I'm so happy I bought the, the pre order thing, because this truck has been so nice to have at the beginning. It really, really has. It just it has the power and the all wheel drive to do some things that the other trucks that you start with I I would just give myself a headache trying to do. But now this is some mud through here. So let's see if this old girl can make it. This stuff. If I can get up close enough to that one tree, I think we should be alright. Because I can winch. This is pretty swampy. See, this thing's, this thing's awesome, man. It just keeps on pulling. <laughs> Can't wait to upgrade it some. I'm sure there's better trucks eventually, so... Yeah. Well, not bad for a day's work. Made a little bit of money, and we got the power lines back up for the folks in town, so they'll be happy. And, uh, had some fun doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hope you liked the intro. I'll try to do more... I'm gonna try to do more fun role-playing stuff as, as I can kind of figure out how to work it in. And how I kind of begin to learn the game mechanics and more how this game works. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure did. Until next time, everybody, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later.